Oh my gosh. Well, I'd say the swarm trap was a success so far. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the Quinstead. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these swarm traps on the cheap and ended up catching three honeybee swarms. I started with grabbing some old buckets and this trash can that were about to be thrown away at my parents house. I also grabbed a couple kitty litter jugs, a couple broken flower pots, and a broken chicken water. Since these were all pretty dirty, this kitty litter one smelled like kitty litter and this one smelled like rotted pickles for some reason. I grabbed some fragrance free dish detergent and started out by giving these guys a good scrub down to get them nice and clean. I then went ahead and set them out to dry and while they were drying, I grabbed some beeswax I bought at the local farmer's market, chopped it up into little bits, put it on the barbecue to get it nice and melted down. Then I grabbed a paintbrush and started coating the inside of all my buckets with a nice layer of beeswax. Not only will this help attract the bees to our buckets, but it'll give them a good surface to walk around on and it'll also provide a surface they'll be able to start building their comb onto. The next thing I needed to do was figure out how I was going to attach these to the tree. So I went over to my trusty scrap wood pile, got a bunch of pieces of scrap wood. And basically what I did was put a longer piece on the outside and a shorter piece of wood on the inside and screwed them together, sandwiching the buckets in between each piece of wood. On the exterior plank, I drilled a hole through the top and the bottom to give us a good mounting point to nail these onto the tree. For the trash can, I grabbed a used piece of plywood, took some K-Lade screws and just screwed it straight onto the board. Then using a three quarter inch drill bit, I drilled a three quarter inch hole in the lids of all the buckets. With these flower pots, I wanted to conjoin them together to give it a bigger surface on the inside. But first I needed to figure out how I was gonna hang it from the tree. So I grabbed a stick, an old piece of wire, drilled a hole through the top, stuck the wire through, wrapped it around the stick and did the same thing for the other side. I then used some heavy duty duct tape to duct tape both of those pots together. I also duct taped shut any holes I didn't want the bees going through and then drilled out the main hole I did want the bees going through. For the chicken water, I just attached the base to a board and then screwed on the top to the base. Now that we've got our swarm traps made, it's time to put a lure inside. I picked up this lemongrass oil from the local farmer's market. I put a few drops on a cotton ball, put that cotton ball inside of a sandwich bag to help prevent it from evaporating too fast and put those inside of each one of our swarm traps. With all the swarm traps ready to go, it's time to start hanging these guys up. Since this is the first time we've ever caught bees, we weren't quite sure on exactly where to put them. So we put them in all sorts of places. We put some way back in the woods, we put some near a creek. We put some near where we knew there were active bees. We hung some higher up in trees and some lower. And since this is sort of an experiment, I went ahead and took three swarm traps and I headed in town. I put this one in my parents' backyard. This other one I put in the back of the woods next to a park in their neighborhood. And the last one I went ahead and followed this trail through the back of their neighborhood until I got to a clearing. And I put the swarm trap on the edge of that clearing. Within just a few days, we had a lot of interest in the swarm traps from honeybees. We even had some bees starting to build wax on the outside of the swarm traps. And then we waited and waited. And then after waiting for over a month, finally this happened. Oh my gosh. All right guys, this is insane. Y'all, we got one. They did not colonize inside the bucket though. They're on the outside. They've already built giant combs on here. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. And then a month after we caught that swarm, we caught another one. And then three or four months after we caught that swarm, we caught one more. And the common factor between the three swarms that we caught was that they were all the swarm traps that we put in town. My brother came up with a really good theory on why this might have happened, but you're gonna have to wait to hear that until the next bee video, where we take those swarm traps down, bring them back to the homestead, and get those guys moved into a bee box. And you're not gonna wanna miss this one because things start to get a little weird. So make sure you stick around to see what happens. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Nailed it.